Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be telling you how to represent root 2 on the number line. Let us see how much is the length of root 2. So let us suppose that OAB is the right triangle, right angled at A, such that angle OAB is equal to 90 degrees. And I take that the length of the two sides that are at right angle to each other to be as one unit. So I take OA is equal to AB is equal to one unit. Let us see how the triangle looks like. So I have the triangle OAB where OA and AB are both one unit and this angle OAB is equal to 90 degrees. Now, because this is a right angle triangle, can I apply Pythagoras theorem? Yes, by Pythagoras theorem, what will I get? I'll be getting that OA square plus AB square will be equal to OB square. So how much was OA? I had taken OA to be as one unit. I took AB also to be as one unit. So I get one square plus one square is equal to OB square. That means one plus one, that is two is equal to OB square. So if OB square is equal to two, how much would OB be? OB will come out to be root two unit. That means that in the right angle triangle, if the two arms containing the right angle are of length one unit, then the hypotenuse comes to be as root two units. So I'll be using this concept to represent root two on number line. Now let us see how do we do that. So let me draw the number line first of all. I draw the number line, I take a point and I take another point and I join them with the ruler. Remember that the number line has to have arrows on both the ends. So I'll put the arrows on both the ends. So I start with minus one. So this point will become minus one. I take one unit distance. It can be one inch also. It can be one centimeter also. Or whatever scale I need take, I'll be mentioning that. So here I have taken one inch to be as one unit. Then at distance of one inch, I mark the point zero. Then again at a distance of one inch, I will mark the next point that is one. And finally, at a distance of one inch more, I will be marking the point two. Fine, so my number line is ready now. Now I mark the point zero as point O. And I mark this point one as A. So I have got the base of the triangle OAB, which was one unit. Now at A point, I will draw 90 degree angle. I know how to draw that. I have made an arc cutting the baseline at two, both the ends. So I marked it as point P and Q, wherever this arc has intersected the baseline. Now with P as center and radius more, more than the radius I had taken, I make an arc with the same radius and Q as center, I make another arc to intersect the previous arc at point, let's say R. So if I join now A and R, then that line that I get will be perpendicular to the line segment PQ. So I have got this perpendicular. Now I need an AB to be as how much? As one unit. So I have made the arc of one unit and I mark it as point B now. I have got point O, I have got point A and this will be point B. I join O and B to get the right triangle OAB. Now, once this right triangle has been formed, how much is the length OB? I told you by the Pythagoras theorem, that because OA is equal to one unit, AB is equal to one unit, then by Pythagoras theorem, OB comes out to be root two. So if OB is root two, so with O as central radius equal to OB, if I will make an arc, wherever this arc intersects the number line, that point will be root two on the number line. So let us do that. So O as center and OB as radius, I have made an arc. Wherever this arc intersects the number line, that point will be marked as point, let's say C. Then this OC is equal to root two units and the C point will be representing root two on the number line. So I repeat once again, what did I do? I drew the number line, OA is one. And at A point, I drew uh, the perpendicular. I have cut an arc such that AB is also equal to one. I joined OB to get the right triangle OAB with length one and one. By Pythagoras theorem, I explained it to you that OB comes out to be how much? Root two. So with O as center and radius equal to OB, if I make an arc, wherever this arc is intersecting the number line, that point will be point C and then OC will be equal to root two units and C point will be representing root two on the number line. 
So don't forget to write the answer. I'll write in the end since OC is equal to root 2 units. And also I'll write thus if O represents the 0 of the number line, then C represents root 2 of the number line. So I hope this video will make clear to you that how do we represent root 2 on the number line. Watch it again in case you have any doubt. Thank you so much.